Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rinse line of time, back with his Wednesday guest and expert, Mr. Matt, the mortgage guy. How you doing, sir? I'm doing good, Mike. How you doing? I'm doing well, man. One of the things I like about talking to you weekly is we just put it out there. We make some calls. Sometimes we're right. Sometimes we're wrong. But boy, we have been right a lot lately. What do you think? I think so, especially you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't get it right as much as you do, uh, admittedly. But, uh, yeah. but yeah, some of some of the stuff, too, where, you know, based on conversations I'm having or just based on, like, you know, you're you're probably, you know, one of your skill sets is kind of like, you know, knowing consumers and knowing behavior. Yeah. Um, and some of it's predictable, right? It was, Based yeah. on this, this is what the consumer is likely to do. Based on this, this is yeah. this is what I expect. So yeah, yeah. So, some of it, uh, yeah, almost seems like layups. Yeah, it's, it's, again, it wasn't always this way. I've been studying the consumer for well over 30 years and you start to identify trends. So here's the one and the data is already supporting it. And I can tell you it's driving some people batshit crazy because they don't get it. Here's the deal. Rates went up and they went up suddenly, which, oh, by the way, we said was coming. Now people are looking at the data going, why is refi demand up? Refi demand, uh, I have the numbers I reported today, jumped 18% week on week. Purchase demand up 4% week on week. People are like, I don't get it. How can that be? Especially refis. Rate, rates went up a quarter, you know, three eighths, whatever. People are like, and I, I'm like, folks, I told you this was coming. Right For about two months, maybe three months, we're going to have everybody who ever thought about doing something and life got in the way because of whatever, they're coming back, right? right. It's right. that last little percent of people who a refi makes sense. They are going to flood, rush, beg, borrow, steal to get the refi done because, yeah, they didn't catch the bottom, but there's still goodness there. But then you wait for... I don't know, late February, maybe middle of March, it is going to be a desert. I, I totally agree. And that's the thing too, is like, you've got everybody who was perched on the fence. Mm -hmm. A big spike in interest rates is the perfect wind to blow people off that fence. And, and now they're you know talking to me, they're talking to other mortgage folks. Hey, I've, I've, I've been thinking about this. I want to do this. I wanted to pull 60,000 to do this project, but never did. You know, what can I do? All that demand is... Is, is coming forward right now. And, you know, we talked about it in past weeks where, you know, if refinance demand was down 50% year on year, I was saying, no, it's more like 75 to 80% once we flush out exactly all of this last minute demand, all this jump off the fence. And now that rates are going up, that was a trigger. Or that was a reminder to me that I've got to take action. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, it doesn't surprise me at all. And that comes out and it's like, Oh my gosh, mortgage refinance apps are up. And me and you looked at each other and goes, I'm yep. not surprised. Yep. That's it. <laughs> Folks, if you, if you follow the consumer, that is what happens every time. Some people are numbers oriented, they move through it, but lots of people, life gets in the way. There's tons of excuses why you didn't do it. Rates go up a quarter point and your payment goes up 150 bucks. You're like, oh, you suddenly think it's going up another 150 bucks as fast and you call guys like Matt the mortgage guy can I lock in can I lock in I'll buy boy I'll buy it down I'll buy it. <laughs> but then that will run out it might be six weeks it might be eight weeks and then you're going to get to the end and if you're in the mortgage business and you haven't right size and you don't have a portfolio of buyers you could be in trouble and that's why Matt the mortgage guy is here with us every week because he has a huge list of buyers not only owners but investors that's why he's part of the channel Right. Yeah. And it's interesting to see because, yeah, all those conversations that were being had, you know, August wasn't that long ago. Yeah, and no, you know, two, two, two 2.75 was available. And, you know, you know, somebody who had a four and a half percent that had any decent, you know, loan size, I was like, you should be acting now. Right. right. And then, you know, rates go to 3%. It still makes sense. Act now. Rates go to three and a quarter. Rates go to three and a half. And, you know, these, these folks are, are running out of time. And that's why they're all rushing to, you know, do something last minute and applications are up and, and uh, whatnot. So I, um, I want to, I want to give these folks one little bit of hopeful advice. If you're right on the fence where it made sense or not, you may have one last bite of the apple. So we had a very negative ADP report this morning, negative 301 job created where the expectation is the economy was still growing and we'd have 200,000 plus. So let's say 500,000 miss. 
we have a jobs number on Friday that uh, the White House has already been, been coaching us since Sunday could be a horrible number, meaning negative. If that happens, you may have a very short time next week uh, where uh, the 10-year will come down, which may or may not roll over to mortgages. But watch out because next week, I think CPI comes out on Wednesday and I expect that to be hot, hot, hot. So you may have a little bit of time, but it's going to be very small window. Right. Yeah. And that's the thing too, is, is if you're thinking about it, you, you know, this, this, this last three, four weeks should, should prove to folks that, you know, you, you never know when it's going to move, how fast it's going to move. So talk with somebody, go over your scenarios. Um, a lot of folks have a ton of equity. And a lot of the conversations I've been having is like, I want to access this hundred. I want to access this 120. I want to do this investment. I want to do this. Rates are are still sub four percent, and truth be told, for somebody who's trying to grab a big piece of equity, it might make sense if you tell me I'm going to be in this for eight, ten, fifteen more years to pay a point and 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 lower the rate, you know, three and a quarter or something to that. You know, where you know I haven't always been a huge fan of paying points, and I've warned people against it. But if you're if you're setting a rate and you're forgetting it, you know, and there's a five year break even, then, you know, maybe your last chance at that lower rate is you might have to pay a little bit for it. But yeah. good news, you've got a ton of equity that yeah. you've built over the last two years by, um, you know, just the market tailwinds. Yeah. What I would tell folks again is, is you need to work with a mortgage broker who's not trying to sell you, right? There's a lot, I got, I got seven phone calls from one freaking mortgage broker, just this online, you know, house. I'm like, what are you doing? They're clearly starving. You want a mortgage broker who's going to help you ask questions about your scenario. I strongly suggest Matt, the mortgage guy. How do you want them to reach out? Go to greatmortgagebroker.com. We've got this completely dialed where you're going to get contacted, you know, very soon. You're going to be connected with, you know, somebody who's licensed in the state that you're in. You know, we're in 45 states-ish. I know, you know, New York's hard, Nevada's hard, um, but even in the states where we're not licensed, we have the best of the best mortgage broker referrals for you. So no matter where you're at in the country, go to greatmortgagebroker.com. Tell us where you're at, what you're looking to do. We will call you. We'll get on the phone with you and ask you, how can we help? What are you looking to do? Point you in the right direction. Awesome, man. Thanks for all you do. And again, if you want to know about Matt the Mortgage Guy, we have a playlist that you can go back over a year and listen to our weekly conversations. Go check it out. Thanks, Time man. flies when you're having fun. There you go.